Good morning, Vinji Kids. It's so good to have you join us for another Vinji Kids Bible story uh, for this Sunday, November 15th. This week, we're going to be focusing on a new character from the Bible, and his name is Isaiah. And Isaiah had this vision of God where he got to see God face to face. Can you imagine seeing God face to face? That would be pretty amazing, wouldn't it? And Isaiah was really scared because he knew he was kind of an imperfect person who had a lot of faults, and God is supposed to be perfect, and Isaiah wasn't sure that he could handle being in the presence of God. But as we hear this story, we're going to hear how God can use imperfect people, people who aren't necessarily great at anything, and God can do something amazing through them. So let's see what happens in the story. I invite you to take out your Spark Storybook Bibles, and we're going to read that story right now. This story is called Isaiah's Call. One day, just like any other day, something amazing happened to Isaiah. Isaiah saw God. God sat on a throne. Angels with six wings sat next to God. The angels used two wings to cover their faces, two wings to cover their feet, and two wings to fly. They sang, Holy, holy, holy is God. The walls shook, and so did Isaiah's knees. Isaiah was amazed. God was more awesome than Isaiah ever knew. One angel carried a hot coal and touched it to Isaiah's mouth. Guess what? The coal didn't burn. Instead, it took away the fear inside him. Who should I send to be a prophet for me? God asked. Now there was something new on his lips. Not a hot coal, but brave new words. Isaiah heard his own voice say, Here I am. Send me. Can you imagine this story in person? Seeing angels that had six wings, and they were huge, and God was even huger. And can you imagine God speaking to you face to face? That would be pretty amazing. As we said before, Isaiah was pretty scared when he saw God, and he didn't feel like he was worthy to be in God's presence. But God called Isaiah, and God said, I'm going to use you to do something amazing. I think it's really cool that God can use people even when they aren't ready. And no matter how big or small or worthy or unworthy they are, God can use everyday ordinary people like you and me to do God's work. I'd like to tell you a story about a little ordinary person doing something pretty amazing in my life. When my daughter Courtney was just a little baby, uh, we had visited our church for the first time after she was born. And we had a good time and we were hanging out downstairs in the fellowship hall. And I was watching from across the room as this little boy went up to my wife Ingrid and he pulled on her pants leg as she was holding our daughter Courtney. And I assumed that he was wanting to get a little closer look at my cute little girl. Well, my wife bent down on one knee and she held him, held Courtney out for him to see. And the little boy reached up with his thumb and he made the sign of the cross on Courtney's forehead. Now that might not seem like a big deal to you, but this is something that I would do for all the little boys and girls of our church every Sunday as they would come up to the communion table. And that was my way of sharing God's love and blessing with them as their pastor. But on that day, when that little boy gave that sign of the cross on my daughter's forehead, it meant the world to me. This little three-year-old boy was like a pastor to my family, sending God's love and blessing upon my own daughter. I hope you never think that you aren't big enough and that you aren't good enough to share God's love with someone else. We have opportunities every day, no matter how big or small, no matter how worthy or unworthy we feel. God can use us to do amazing things in this world. I hope you look for those opportunities this week. See how you can be someone who shares God's love with others in your home or in your school or wherever you are. 
And remember that God will use a wonderful person like you to do some amazing things. Let's pray. Hey God, thank you for calling us. Thank you for using us. No matter how small or big, no matter how worthy or unworthy we might feel. Help us to do your work and share your love with others. Amen. Amen. And amen.